Welcome back to lesson two, sharpening the image. In this lesson, we're going to use some filters to sharpen and remove some of the dust and scratches and to do a smart sharpen of the image. Let's begin. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in to the boy's short, short shirt. Excuse me. You can see all, you can see all of the dots that we see on the screen right there for the image, right? We're gonna get rid of that by going to filters and we're gonna select, um, let's see, where is that at? Uh, noise and we're going to remove the dust and scratches. A little menu comes up like this to show you what the radius and pixels are. The best way to learn a tool is to play with it. So for instance, the radius pixel is how many pixels this tool is gonna to affect at any one time. The more you select, you'll notice that the whole image is being, being blocked out because you are selecting at any one time 180 pixels. We're just gonna go ahead and go back to one. Notice we can drag the slider or you can just come up into this box and type in one pixel. We're gonna leave the threshold at level zero. We're gonna click okay. And notice all those blue marks on the boy's shirt is gone. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply another filter called the sharpen filter to give it a little bit crisper lines. We're gonna do that by going to filters again. And there's an option called sharpen. And we're going to do, use a smart sharpen filter. Again, we are presented with sliders that we can customize. And uh, on these sliders, we're going to drag the slider to 60% for the amount. It's already a 59 since I've already been playing with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and type 60%. We're gonna uh, drag the radius to one point one and a half pixels, 1.5 pixels, and the noise reduction will be at 10. We make sure that we have the linear blur is selected. We can also do a Gaussian blur, and a motion blur depends on the picture and what we're trying to accomplish. We're gonna click OK. And the shirt and the whole image should be now sharpened. Thank you for joining me for this short video and I'll see you in lesson three.